Taurus, what's good? It's Magic D, Magician Tarot. What up, my bulls? It's been a little while, but I want to give you guys a little update for today, Tuesday, March 24th through the 26th. Whenever you mosey on by and you see me here, check it out. What's going on? Hope you guys are all doing well, taking good care of yourselves, eating well, maybe cooking for others, sharing your expertise, keeping a nice, calm, peaceful home, and helping those around you with your strength. All right, my bulls, let's see what's going on. Ooh, Jupiter, yeah. All the lessons that you learned maybe from your father or from maybe you yourself are a father figure or, you know, you identify more as a masculine personality. All those lessons right now and all those personality traits, these are this is your time to shine. So you are definitely somebody that knows how to take your business in a difficult time. People are looking at you as a leader. Okay, there's a water sign that you're a little bit concerned for. Somebody that you see a lot of yourself in them. This could be... Um, this could be a child. This could also be um, uh, it could be a romantic partner that you are significantly older than, and you know you guys may not be seeing eye to eye right now. Or you could be just worried about them. Yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen with them. You're sort of in two minds. One mind is saying like everything's gonna be fine. Another one is like thinking, oh, what could I have done differently? What could they have done differently? What could I tell them to do? So you're sort of in a standstill in how to proceed with that. Oh, there's a dishonesty there or something that's not being revealed. There could also be something, a, a judgment coming that is not clear right now, or you know, you don't know maybe if it is a court thing, you don't know if that's gonna, when that's gonna happen just because everything is up in the air. Okay, there's a mother figure there you guys could have a relationship that this is your child and you feel that there could have been some dishonesty there what is that about or you feel guilty maybe the water sign knew that something wasn't gonna be good but you guys went into it anyway thinking that things would be wanting to work together on something or maybe you feel like this person didn't contribute maybe you have like a mom figure in the situation who couldn't contribute or wasn't there at the time because of some dishonesty that happened between you guys maybe you sort of regret the end of your relationship or you feel that they just didn't put in their fair share into the future into the caring of this child and now you're feeling like really alone in that with this three of wands let's look into what the three of wands could mean of wands for this particular situation. Yeah, advice, support from advisors, mergers. You need legal advice on this situation, or maybe you want to talk to this person about legal advice, or maybe. There is a disconnect and, a, and you don't want them to know or something like that about what's going on, but they might have some valuable advice for you, especially if it's a legal issue and, you know, they could have had a similar legal issue in the past. What is your relationship with this Knight of Cups in the reverse? They could be also a lot like your father. The Nine of Swords, yeah. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Mentally, you worry about their mental state. They worry about your mental state just because you care a lot about each other. So when they're worried, you're worried. When you worry for them, they can pick up on the worry. It's sort of like a cycle, Queen of Cups. Okay, they could be, again, like I said, a water sign. Could be a female water sign. Could be somebody more, um, a daughter of yours. Or you could have a relationship with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person who you really worry about and you want the best for. You, they might be a little bit psychic. They could have known that these things were going to happen this way. And you could just be a naturally very positive person. And so you thought that things were going to have a good outcome. But there's been a loss. There's going to be a financial loss. Or you'll narrowly avoid a financial loss. Okay. Page of Wands. You may have a good idea. You may come in contact with somebody that 
has great ideas. You may be speaking to a fire sign person in the future, younger, snazzy. They could be like a lawyer, attorney kind of person, or somebody um, could give you the tip that you need to talk to somebody that's going to give you the expertise. But they are creative. They are perhaps not as experienced as you would like, but they're going to be the solution to your problems to help you avoid because you got this five of pentacles here, but it is in the reverse. So if you look right there, that's good. That means we're going to be narrowly avoiding. Or you're going to be narrowly. I feel like a group. It's like you and your family, you and your child. You know what I mean? Okay. So I, mean, I feel like we should use another deck here to figure out what's going on with you personally. Because I feel like this is definitely a situation where you're the father figure or you're the older, more mature party in your relationship. And we'll figure out more about this page of wands person. But let's figure out about you personally. What's going on? Yeah, nine of swords again. Very, very worried. The situation is not resolving the way that you want it to. None of us are having a resolution that we want right now. So if you're able, you're not able to work, you need to stay busy in other ways. You need to stay busy in other ways. Eternal. Okay, things are happening. There is a part of you spiritually that understands that things are happening exactly how they need to happen. And maybe this is a time for you to focus more on your own spiritual understanding and what's going on. Rather than being worried about everybody else because you just can't control that. Alright, 21. I believe it's the Wheel of Fortune, but I just want to take a look here. 21 is... Oh, it's the world. Okay, so with the world... Let me tell you exactly what it says here. The infinity of space. You you realize that what's happening is part of a divine balance. And you have some messages for the world. They're way beyond what people understand. Your surface is calm, but underneath you have a lot of understanding and acceptance for what's happening. So you're very worried about earthly things, but you also know that something larger is in control. Yeah, knowledge accumulated on the path of learning from innocence to enlightenment. You're very enlightened. You're an old soul. Okay, now looking at this, the thing that first stands out to me is the figure in the middle, this red center in the middle here. Okay, there's a diagram here that explains if an image pops out to you the most. So looking at this card, if an image pops out to you the most, we're going to explore the meaning. I'm looking at this red, like, sort of like a devil, but more like a bull. Okay. He's number 11. The shaman, universal healing, seeking information. Really interesting, especially because for me that word has a very special meaning. So the shaman is somebody that has a vast understanding and hopefully is protected through their knowledge. At the very last minute can kind of like know the right path, but keeps walking anyway, no matter what. And that's you. And the person that you are... The person that you have this influence over and the person that you care about has you in them in terms of the resources that you've given them. So if you feel like they sort of missed out on their relationship with a mother figure or if you feel like you betrayed them because they had a psychic inkling about something and you made them go through with it, that's super specific. But listen, again, the three of intuition. I got this card earlier. Listen to advice. Okay, this is the three of wands. Three of Wands, again, you're going to have to cooperate, you're going to have to listen to each other, and there's no room for blame. There's no room for blame in any of this world situation, and you understand that. You feel like the entire human race is to blame, and I know that that's horrible to say. Some people are going to take that as horrible to say, but I think that you understand that humans are visitors on this plane and inherited something much larger The unexpected tower in the in the reverse. Maybe what you're seeing now is that a lot of things have come to a halt. So where the tower moment would have happened and would have come crashing down on your world, now in a 
crappy way, like there is a blessing in disguise and everything coming to a halt because you'll be able to get yourself together and get yourself ready for this mission. That is, the the justice, I feel like, is on your side. Let's see what the outcome is going to be. And time is on your side. Okay. Successful in the reverse. So, a king of pentacles in the reverse. Work is not coming to fruition yet, or things are not going well in the work world because none of us are really able to go to work. We have this king of pentacles here. This is you in the reverse. You may need to give something up. Eight of swords and trap. Hmm. I don't like that. Okay, here we go. But elimination. So with this eight of swords, with this eight of intellect, outlook is not great for the legal situation. But you do have an elimination card. It came out right after that. Temporary restrictions, bad news, sickness, imprisonment, conflict. <sighs> okay, but how are we going to avoid it with the illumination card? I think this is the sun card. You got to tell the truth. Hopefully, you're not going to get sick. If you are going to get sick, I think, and this is really very specific information, but I think that vitamin D, sunshine, will help you. If you're a little bit cooped up right now, you may need to go out, like, while, well, if and while you still can, get some sun. Depression, loss of control, loss of control. You don't feel like you're in control right now over the outcome because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. But then we have this beautiful illumination card here, which is the sun. 19. Yeah, the sun. So, the truth is going to prevail. You feel entrapped right now by not being able to work, not being able to go out. But there is the illumination card and then this page of water. I forgot, I forgot who this fire sign is. This younger, this could also be your son. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, evolution in the reverse. Interesting. Okay. The evolution card is the moon in the reverse. So secrets coming out. Everybody has to be honest with each other. There has to be some sort of like family mediation. There could be some secrets that this this person has not told you. Well, there were some secrets that this person hadn't told you. There are two fire signs in your life also. You could have um, this... I'm getting like, you know, this legal advice person. I'm getting also the younger vibe because this is a page of wands. So a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And then a moon card in reverse. So they could have some, some financial secrets to reveal to you. Seven of intuition obstacles. There could be some competition there. They're going to not make it easy for you or it's going to be difficult for you to hire this person or this person's going to be busy. I mean, you may not feel that the conversation flows easily at first. Why? Why is there an obstacle there? Okay. Aggressiveness. So there is an ace of swords here, and then there's also a king of swords here. There could be some aggressiveness in their way in the way that they go into things and you need to be supportive of them and allow them to take the reins in this situation if you have to ask for help 
and they become aggressive or they tell you something that makes you feel like your hands are tied. Remember that there is a sun card here, directly in opposition to the moon, but the moon is in the reverse. So all the secrets have got to come out. Everything needs to be revealed. If there's any secret sum of money that somebody is harboring, right now is the time that they're going to offer it to you. If there is a, I really want to find out what's going to happen with this legal situation, if it is a legal situation. There's kind of fun that needs to be tapped into. That's going to be the saving grace, the sun. Okay. Why do you have a three of pentacles in reverse? Why do we have a three of pentacles in the reverse? Somebody definitely that you have a hard time getting along with. That you don't normally cooperate with. Success block, lack of ideas, poor quality of work, sloppy expression. Okay. Okay. Do not go over the cheaper option when you have to defend yourself. And do not think that out of pride and not wanting to ask for help that you should just bear the brunt of it all. Because there's some fire signs in your life right now that would be very, very helpful for this situation. <sighs> Tough times for you, Doris. Let me tell you. But let's get a little bit of advice, shall we? It also could be an air sign. That will be very helpful in this situation. A Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, leave a magic. Boom. Okay. It's really good. I definitely get a feeling like your ass is going to be saved at the last minute through magic and pass. Reflect and redirect your energy from worry to hope. One more. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. You have a lot of different messages here in terms of like your spiritual understanding and your knowledge of our job here as human beings. And maybe you got a little bit of like alien vibes happening here. So there could be some, some, <laughs> some messages coming to you from dreams. Coming for you from past lives that you, you know things are going to be okay. You're just in trial and tribulation. You're a little bit imprisoned in your home. And that's difficult for you because the way that you secure yourself is through um, making the people around you feel comfortable. And you may, if you're not somebody that has like stacks on stacks on stacks of money, then you're somebody who has always been um, a fan of, being together as a family and you can't be together as a family right now but you know that when the storm is over there's going to be a piper to pay there's going to be something that you have to face but if you go to it with this knowledge from these fire signs and with this advice from this fire sign then everything will be okay Taurus. all right let me know below if anything did resonate with you and again i want to come back around to the fact that you guys are being guided by like shamanistic ETs, <laughs> the old ones, the spirit guides are around you and you need only reach out to them for help, for help and guidance and it will come. It's coming. All right, Magic Team Edition, Tarot, like, subscribe below. Let me know.